morning, everyone. Yeah. It's, it's the London technician here. And as you can see, I am in my box house. Probably do some swimming here today. This is fun. Yeah, it's part of the secret that I am trying to teach people. The secret. Secret will bring you transformation. So you will see your life changing and changing into something better. More nicer, more comfort, and you become stronger. This is very, it's hard, it's nice, it's nice, right? Yeah. That's what I have said before, that life is love in all energy. Mm -hmm. Actually, we are just playing, the secret there is we're just playing the energy. Before I go, uh, explaining to you the secret, <laughs> you don't, now I have request, so you don't have to share this video anymore, or you have to force yourself to subscribe, no, 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 no don't do that. Just let this secret that I am explaining find its way to the people who are worthy to receive the secret. Yeah? Ah, it's not that when you are following me and listening to my words and what I say, you become millionaire. Ah. I don't share something I don't have. I have the secret. The secret is very powerful. It's a secret of energy. It's what every business is using. And it is the energy that the world used to spin itself. Yeah? Good. And they're all written in the Bible. Yeah, yeah it's, it's written in the Bible. It's the energy. The energy is being used to build something, yeah? yeah? I think I need to put this one in my water. Put this something there. Mm -hmm. It's good. What is this? Uh, that's in water. Oh, it smells good. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, 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 no. Close it. And then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Get this soap. <laughs> Get some salt. <laughs> I'm gonna put this also in the water. Mm, mix it. Oh, too much, I think too much. Put it too much here. This is it. Yeah. <laughs> my diamond is legal, legal time. It's mine. <laughs> and this is hot water. It's good. So I could be relaxed. <laughs> I have one time to, one day to relax. So just relax. This is nicer, yeah? <laughs> I'll just leave it there. Yeah? So I can face you, maybe I could teach you something. I can teach you something from my bottom. That's how I want to share with you. Even when I'm trying to ha, do my... <laughs> it's like swimming, you know. You see, it's a change in the world. This is what I like. You don't have to spend so much money going flying somewhere, going to nice places, and experiencing uh, 
experiencing you know the beautiful sunset <laughs> watching those flowers blooming somewhere you so can experience it all in your mind yeah people don't know what is this mind but if you keep on listening to the things that I share to you, you will discover what is this mind. Huh? Your life from being low will travel going up. I will be telling you about the secret. <laughs> secret is very powerful. <laughs> But I discover it. Oh my God! I can go anywhere. You know, I have this expression, calling the name God. You know already what God is. Okay, G O D. If you want to discover it in the Bible, G is a great old God. You know, that's why in the Bible. Jesus, many, many years ago, teach his disciples to pray, Our Father, which art in heaven. <laughs> Where? In heaven. Who? Our Father. G O D, great or done. That's it. G O D, generator of this. It generates order to develop God. It generates orders of the days. Yeah? It is a generator, a government of dominions. So it's it's important to understand God. But I look at it through its like an acronym, you know. Yeah, you, you can understand it, but I just want to simplify it so that people can easily remember the function. Because development cannot be done without energy. And energy has so many faces. This is energy. <laughs> Water, yeah. producing this water is energy, so it's good, yeah. like this one, yeah, the water, producing this one is energy. It's just a cycle, my friend. And energy has weight. Some is heavy, some here in England, uh, energy that is thin with paper, <laughs> we call it pounds, <laughs> it's weight, it has weight, yeah? some countries, ever they call it, I look at it as they say, it's still energy. Some people, they have too much stored energy. But they store their energy in the bank. <laughs> and it's there. It's not doing anything there. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> it's not working. It's, <laughs> it's not energy in motion. <laughs> And they just get the name that they have too much of this energy. Yeah. So they are showing you nice houses, nice car, going to the internet. Yeah. Using the deadliest temptation. The third temptation of Satan. It's gonna scum you. Okay, before I go, I'll give you a short 
so then you will understand what is this contention that I'm talking about. Well, after 40 days of fasting, this is funny. It's biblical after 40 days of fasting. <laughs> you know, Jesus, Jesus, you know, in the Bible is the Son of God. There is the Word. It is the working order to restore development, word. Yeah. You cannot find this on seminar or in theological stuff. You will just hear this from me. Because uh, I'm just following something that is being revealed to me. So, and I'm sharing it with you. So, this is the story of Jesus. Jesus was led by the Spirit to the wilderness. Forty days and forty nights. Whoa! <laughs> we got number again, huh? forty. Let's talk about that number some other time. But this, Jesus was led by the forty days and the purpose is to be tempted by the devil. And you must understand that this Jesus as a human being is not eating food. No. So there is no charge. Yeah, food, food is energy. You break it up, uh, there are atoms and small molecules in it, and then you eat it. it cycles in your body and it gives you energy. That's the gift of the Creator. So here comes this Jesus. The working orders to restore development. <laughs> Word. So because the development was degraded, so you need to send someone to fix you know, when something is broken, it's me. Sometimes it's under because I'm the technician, local technician. <laughs> so this is Jesus Christ. He's also working as a technician, but he is fixing a bigger problem. Now, there are obstacles along the way. 40 days and 40 nights. No eating. Three days I tried not eating. Oh my God. So, so hungry. Jesus. For two days and 40 nights. Nothing. And he was there. And here is the devil. He came around. Pretending to be... Good, an angel of life. <laughs> it's what's up? You know, people who try to scam you always pretend to be good. They will come to you like a friend. They must be clever. Like a serpent, but be gentle like a dove. <laughs> so, this is it. So when Jesus was there in the wilderness, and they go to the devil is not very clever as well, you see. He asked Jesus, <coughs> Jesus Christ, <coughs> let me blow my throat. <coughs> Jesus, Jesus, to turn the stone into bread. You see, if I am there in the wilderness and I have not eaten for 10 days, not even 40 days, I never tried fasting that long. <laughs> Maybe I fast only for 5 hours and then I drink water. I am not fasting, but I don't usually do those things like fasting and nothing. But just imagine, if you are there, 
and you have not eaten for 40 days. And here comes someone who asks you to turn the stone into bread for the reason that you are the Son of God. Would you? Would you turn the stone into bread? You don't have the energy to do it. I have even hard time trying to do flour. How about the stone? Because I want to make bread and put it on the oven. You know, and I have a hard time with the flour. Now someone will come to me and turn. <laughs> oh, no, no. Sorry, sorry. My wife will always correct me with my pronunciation. So stone into the <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Crazy deal, yeah? It's it's mocking you. So they will try to mock you to get into your center of your I property, the ego. <laughs> this is the first trouble they have. This is a secret, yeah? The first trouble, they're trying to get hold of the I property. But this I property is not only present in God. It's also present with us. We are like God. Although we are not directly created with that. We come from our parents yeah, and then to trace. It's only Adam and Eve in the beginning. It's only Adam and Eve. We are not directly from God. We are from our parents. Yeah. And the story behind it, we don't know. We come into existence now <laughs> to understand this, why we are here. Yeah. I'll tell you something, a parable. There are three things. It's like a triangle. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Wisdom, knowledge, understanding is starting to, you know, do something there. Knowledge or not. You don't have understanding. Told the, he told wisdom. But wisdom was just quiet. And here comes understanding, said, ah, you knowledge, you don't have understanding as well. I am understanding. You are just knowledge, you don't have understanding. And knowledge told understanding. You don't have also the knowledge, I have the knowledge. You are only understanding, you don't have the knowledge. After you understand, no knowledge. This very thing is always <laughs> working on something up, discussing something else. And then later in wisdom said, ah, oh, to, to settle this, we'll go to planet Earth. We'll see what we can do there. So wisdom, knowledge, understanding, it's like a spaceship. We go to planet Earth. That's it. So where do you think wisdom, knowledge, understanding? Staying right now here at this plant. Would it stay in the third? No, I don't think so. Would it stay inside the stone? It stays with in me and within you. It's how you have to discover the secret. So let's go back about the story of the 40 days in the wilderness. Yeah. So here is the crazy mind trying to tell the other mind, you need to turn. You need to turn. Correct me. Stones into bread. For the reason that you are the son, if you are the son, turn this, turn this into bread, turn stones into bread. You know, back in my country, there are some people who are trying to eat stone, but they have to melt it. Like that. 
the addicts and the president trying to fix them as well <laughs> don't worry about it but in this sitting here yeah, this is really the work of the foolishness too strong to yeah. Jesus will never consent even if you are in the wilderness. You will never consent to that kind of thinking. Turn the stones into bread. You will be screaming, what the? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Jesus is not like that. He's just, come on. Cool. <laughs> Say, ah, <laughs> I will not I will not consent with you. Remember, a man shall not live by bread alone. <laughs> it's good, eh? And some of my friends joke at me. <laughs> That's why man will not live. Man will not live by bread alone. We invented peanut butter, cheese with cheese. <laughs> Put it on the bread so we live. So it's not only bread, not bread alone, but every working order to restore development. That makes man live. Every word. And where is this working orders? Yeah. To restore development, it's coming from the mouths of God. See the secret there? Yeah. The word. <laughs> you see the secret there? Yeah. It's the word. It's coming from the mouth. Yeah. Every word. That makes you live. That makes you have life. That makes you have love and full energy. And it gives you light. And it's so bright because life. When there is no life, it was darkness and void and nothing was within. And then energy can run. Let there be light. And there. It's life in full energy. Yeah? See? Secret. Okay, and then after the wisdom show foolishness about his folly, say, oh, Man shall not live by bread alone. It's like, it's like a punch, you know, in the face. You don't have the information that man shall not live by bread. Yeah. You're asking me to turn these stones into bread. <laughs> this is the information. That's it. That's it. But, you know, Sometimes there are people who are foolish, but they are very persistent. <laughs> Just like the deep really is very persistent. His persistence is only up to three times, three to five. Beyond that, you drive the evil one into the way. The foolishness will strike in your mind three times. When you wake up in the morning, during your lunchtime, and before you sleep in the evening, Secret. You need to know. Foolishness strikes your mind three times. It started when you wake up in the morning. It goes during your lunch time, especially when you're eating, and before you go to your bed. Observe. If you don't, you don't understand really what I am trying to explain to you. Observe yourself. <laughs> you will know. Try to audit. Audit. Audit yourself. If you don't know how to audit yourself, ask the Scientologists. 
You are very good on it. I try to understand the that doctor. Ah, doctor Hobart. I read his book. I happened to read it before. I get tired of it. I did not finish it. I know already. <laughs> I'd rather read the Bible. It has more secrets in there. Bible, Bible is really wonderful because it's giving us business instruction. Yeah? And business cannot operate without energy. It's very important to understand energy as well. Okay. So now, who is the second strategy? On the story of the 40 days in the wilderness. <laughs> see, the foolish mind, you know, the devil, the evil one comes again and trying to destroy the spirit, the good spirit and the good mind. This is Jesus. He's trying to there, he's trying to convince this. Jump! <laughs> he wants him, he brings. Bring him to the highest pinnacle of the temple, asking Jesus Christ to jump. What's going on with him? He said, "This, this Jesus Christ is drained up with energy physically, and not eaten for forty days, and he will tell him to jump." Do you like to jump when you are weak? You don't need to jump. You see, if you are there 40 days, just 10 days, you try not to eat. And I will be the devil to come to you and tell you, hey, Ronald, jump. <laughs> You've been hungry for 10 days, I will come to you and tell you to jump. You don't even like to, you know. Do anything in your soul. All you need is to restore your energy with food. You don't want to make food. You you lost that already. The energy to do the power. You lost it. What you don't lost? The energy of the will. Your determination, you don't know. Ah, okay, well, do this. This is what is me. It's you. You you will not lose that one. But the moment you lost it, then you are defeated. And that is the core of this energy. And the scammer wants to get that one. Yeah. And he could not just come to you get it without you giving it. He should do something for you to be, you know, giving it free. Because it's not like the money in your pocket they can put gun on your neck and scare you. Yeah? Put fear in you uh -huh. that you may give up your life. Life is important. And they will get some of your energy. It's just a trade, you know. It's just trade. So, because the devil cannot do that, he's going to have a different strategy. So, this strategy, the second strategy, is to make you believe on comfort. You know, angels will hold you, will catch you, you cannot, even dust will not hit your foot, yeah. even the dust of the stone yeah, will not hit your foot when you jump. It's not important if you hit your foot in a stone or you, after you jump, you don't have the energy anymore, why should you jump? That's why when you read the scriptures, it says the devil broke, bring him, broke him. He don't have the energy to climb there in the pinnacle, pinnacle of the temple. That's why the devil have to bring him there, ask him to jump. It's crazy, crazy, crazy thinking. Yeah. 
and all he is trying to trade in is the energy of worship. Yeah. Give in to me, this is jump. Angels will catch you. But the third one is the TV because he's trying to get the source of your energy. The source is the word. Because it is working the order to restore your development. And he wants to get it. And he wants to get it from you. And the way to get is to ask you to give it to him freely. <laughs> So he brought Jesus to the highest place and show him all, all the wonders, all the power, all the governments, all to be supreme of these worlds, all the wealth, the glories, yeah. You will have all of this. <laughs> you will have all of these beautiful things if you will bow down and worship me. Hmm. I don't have time to worship. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I am very angry. Why should I worship you? Because you have a car? Because your car is the latest edition? Because you are so clever? You are looking very good? You have a nice house with big swimming pool? I'm going to worship you? No way. That's it. That's the secret. That's the, that's the real thing, eh? Yeah. And I'm showing this to you. Yeah. This is the real pattern of the thinking of the mind. And in my bathtub. Sorry that I have to, you know. I just like this time to share it. Because the secret, when it comes to me, it does not come on. It's just suddenly appeared in my thoughts and as I think of it I have no it comes to me when I'm here so I have to share it to you here right now I don't want to procrastinate I'll do it tomorrow when it comes it comes and now I'm sharing it to you it's up to you if you want to share it with others yeah. but this is the so many people I know many of you are trying to go to the internet seeking a solution for your problem maybe you are feeling so low <laughs> you are worried about the future actually the weapon of the devil is to let you underestimate yourself all the time and to give you fear of what will happen in the future because you have nothing, you have something worship. Don't you know that the secret is that everything in this planet and energy is just working for you? Because you are created, humanity is created in the likeness of what is required of us is to behave like the likeness of God. The problem with us is that we are not behaving like the likeness of God. That's it. That's the problem. Yeah. We do not behave like God. We are behaving like an animal. So what happened? Okay. Instead of trying what is behind those energies, people tend to look at you, looking for, you know, reasons 
they are looking for reasons why they cannot. Sometimes they look reasons why they cannot go to heaven. They look reasons why they should die. Instead of looking for reasons why they will live eternally and enjoy the fullness of energy, they're looking for reasons. Oh, looking for reasons to grow old. Every day when you wake up, look for a reason why you should live. Why you should give. And why you should do something. Like this, like that. That's, that's, that is, that is so wonderful. When you wake up in the morning looking for reasons why you should live. Why your day should be good. That's it. But some people, they wake up in the morning after <laughs> they don't have time to laugh. I wake up in the morning and laugh in the morning. Yeah, this is fun. Yeah. Imagine yourself, you have billions, billions of stored energy. Yeah? And maybe it comes in the face of money, it's in the time. You have so much big house. Do you think your physical energy has time to clean your big house? You wake up in the morning, you jump in your swimming pool. After two days, you think your physical energy has a time to vacuum your swimming pool? I experience that life. You wake up in the morning, swimming. But uh, during the time, I, w I wake up to go swimming, not I wake up to start meditating and loving. This time, it's I wake up. <laughs> and he does this. <laughs> and this is a good secret. You can, you can do what I do, but what I'm trying to tell you is here. It's hard. You work your transformation and perhaps by sharing this will give you a clue and you can do anything you like. You don't have to do something you don't like, just do it. something you like. Ralph, you tell me, oh, I love the magician. You work in the day, uh, doing something different that I like. Lately, I, I like to play the violin. Well, I find myself playing the violin. <laughs> Just thinking of it. Because there is something I know. First, you should understand who is your shipper? Yeah. Who is the one watching you? you say, now when I realized it, it was the Lord. The loving Father, you know, the Lord, you know, it's loving. He's the original. It is called the uh, development. It's the Lord. And He's watching you. That's why I like to sing my song. Sometimes I sing the song in my guitar. I I'll sing it to you. No, don't worry. Maybe it's all of my, my, my other videos. I cannot do all the videos, but at one time, I can sing all these songs. Everything I want. There's something that I want. I don't think.
And uh, for myself, the naughty one, I will get the egg of the chicken and I will put the egg of the duck. <laughs> so after 21 days, the mother is having a problem with it. What happened to all my ducks? They become freak. <laughs> yeah, we have a small fish pond in our house back in the Philippines. I have this fish <laughs> swimming <laughs> in the fish pond <laughs> and the chicken who lay hatching her egg. I put some duck in there and it was hot. <laughs> the mother was going around the fish pond and I came. Oh, I'm having a problem with all this. <laughs> I look at it, oh my god, what did I do? And so, so we do that. <laughs> but you know, it makes things happen in Jimmy's life. You know, this happens. But I don't like to eat the chicken. I don't like to eat the duck. We got visitors coming from other places, and my mom would like to cook the chicken. Oh, thank you. 
I love my the, those things that I do. Yeah. It's fun. What? <laughs> I don't know to do it. You know, look at it now. I'm trying to laugh. <laughs> it's it's funny, you know. So back back to the thing there, the secret there. So, you know, it is really important that you don't have to count how much you have before it is there, yeah, because you don't know. You put. 12 eggs underneath the knee, not all of them will be hurts. Yeah. If you plant rice, not all of them, all of them will come up and be harvested. There is no way to come. So this is what the foolishness comes. After a month you will have 10,000. Would you like to make 20,000, 30,000, 1 million? I have made 1 million. Okay, so, so what if you make 1 million? You think I can make it? Sure, you can make it if you do this, this, and this, and this, and this. What if I cannot do? You can find all the reasons why you cannot, and you can find all the reasons why you can do. But the devil will make you count something that is not there. That is not there yet. And here I'm not going to do that. I'll just tell you this. This is the secret. If you want to have more energy, if you want to fix your life, go to the generator of days it gives you long days it gives you long life it gives you everything give orders develops yes. simple code yeah go there He is the one who makes one wealthy and he is the one who makes one poor. So it's not, it's not on your doing. That's why when you wake up in the morning, I said, look for a reason why you should live and look for a reason why you should give. Yeah. <laughs> so the secret there is, Make your mind pure, so you need to do paradigm shift yes. because the enemy of the mind, the good mind, will come to you planting fear, uh, everything in your mind. Yeah. Just like now, you know, you're looking at me in my bottom, and then you probably make some. Planning to make some comments that what well, are you seeing this bottle really making you're looking for a reason yeah to <laughs> not to get the secret that I'm trying to give to you. <laughs> this is sorry. I'm, I'm very sorry. I could not I could not you know I'm very sorry. If that's how you think about it, it's fine with me, I'm just Thinking and <laughs> warning you, <laughs> watching at me. Yeah. That's all right. I'm, I'm fine with it. Yeah. So I hope that yeah, I help you with the secret. So I will leave you with this thing. You know, I don't have to tell you where it is. Just be encouraged to read the Bible. Our business instructions. <laughs> Just encourage. Whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are of good report, think on those things. Do not dwell on the thinking of bad report. You, you, you are watching at me, I know. Yeah? Do not dwell on the thinking that 
you are far away and something is happening in your family and the report was and the report is not good leave it leave it to the great and the almighty traitor he knows I don't go to life struggling I have to do this because I want this one thing something I don't need I don't say well you can you can be a millionaire because you invented this I know I, I, I make those I make pinch food product I don't want to push myself to become a millionaire something that I cannot carry I know the limits of it's one secret learn to know the limits of your energy yeah you learn to know how much you can carry not that you try to say oh I can I can carry this and then when you have it you discover you cannot carry just just know Right. Like for me, oh, okay. You, you give me, if you give me a very heavy loads of energy, and I know only how to carry this much, I will really not accept it. For you. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say here. Yeah, I will not accept. It. I know I cannot carry it. it I cannot do it alone. Yeah. I'm trying to say that if you are imagining to carry one billion that is too heavy, you cannot do it alone. So stop that imagination and try to start carrying something that you can carry and slowly, slowly increase it and develop it. Not that you will just jump and say, hey, imagine that I have this, I have this. No. Make it grow within you in time. That's the secret there. Okay? Yeah? So you got the secret now? So probably the water is <laughs> becoming cold already. I'm going to warm it again. <laughs> See you in my next video. This is fun, yeah? I, I try to travel the world with this one secret from this here. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, guys. See you on my next video. I hope you learned something today. Take care. Oh, oh don't forget. I'm not asking you to subscribe <laughs> to share this video. Just do whatever you feel. Okay. You like, yeah. if you don't, you, you want to share, and it's up to you. Enjoy. See you next time.